happy Halloween and welcome to Day to Day Ray with me, your girl Ray Ray. How y'all doing? What's going on? This, I just got home from work and my son just got home from school. There we go. Now I'm centered. And this is what I wore to work today. I wore this. This is a 2X burgundy dress. And I wore these sugar skull leggings from Walmart. Um, I saw these when they first came out and I snagged a pair, but I bought a size too big. So they're like falling off to me, falling off of me. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then this mask I got at the Dollar General for like two bucks. The earrings are also from Walmart. And this headband, one of the teachers that I used to work with, she's no longer at the school, her daughters had this little business making headbands. And I had asked them a very long time ago if they would make me one. And they did, and I still have it. This was like probably eight years ago, nine, no, probably probably six years ago, at least, at least six years ago. Um, but yeah, like everybody loved my look. They kept calling me Coco from the movie Coco and I totally forgot about it. So I was like, yeah, I'll work with Coco, you know, cause we really couldn't wear full face masks and they really didn't want us to wear masks. So I was just like, you know what? I'll just do half a face. You can still see the rest of my face, whatever. So anyway, I came home today and there was this box here from Miss Jessica and it's really gonna brighten my day and um, I thank you so, so much, Jessica. I mean, you really don't know how much, like you guys, I've been through a crazy week. I've already felt bad because I wasn't able to make the, I wanted to go live and do the whole skeleton cake and do the whole sugar skull like look. Um, but I said, you know what? I might just do it another day. Oh, so sugar skulls. I love sugar skulls all year round. So it is what it is. Um, but I just had a very emotional week. The basement's been a mess. Um, it did clean up. It did dry up. And then all day yesterday and today we have torn. It's like 80 degrees today. We have tornado warnings. We have severe thunderstorm warnings. We have... Um, coast, we have flood warnings, flash flood warnings. It's been raining all day. Um, the basement is wet yet again, and it's not as bad as it was because we had, of course, the sump pump is on now, but, um, and it's working. I, we keep going down and checking when we're home. So yeah, it's just been, and then me, like, Mercury retrograde has already kicked in, I feel like, full force. My son this morning got the backhand to the mouth for his back talking, and the kids at schoolwork have been crazy. I have been an emotional basket case. So we got batteries for our scale, because I think I told you guys that our scale was broken. And when I got on it, it said I weighed like 295 or 294, and I was devastated. I was crushed and I cried and I cried and I cried and I because I was like I don't understand why I expect to have a stall um but I don't never expected like a big gain like that's over like that's like 12 pound gain and I'm like how and I'm just like I know I've been eating my banana chips but I feel like I only eat like a quarter of a cup at a time like I know it's a lot of sugar but it's natural sugars because like today like the past couple days I've totally cut all the dried fruits out because I usually take them to work and I'm like I've been getting lightheaded I've been getting dizzy I'm like is my sugar dropping because I'm not taking that much to eat like I don't have time to eat I take like a quarter cup to a half a cup of lunch it takes me like 15 20 minutes well uh, about 15 20 minutes to eat and I have kids, you know, and trying to catch kids up and stuff. So I'm just like, oh my God. So um, I've been getting lightheaded and dizzy at work. And the banana chips was just kind of like to maintain my blood sugars. I'm out of thyroid medicine. I do have an appointment Monday with my doctor. Um, I've been getting these crazy wicked headaches. Of course, Tylenol does nothing 
to take them away. I just don't know if it's the crazy weather. Like, I don't know. I've just been crying and I've just been emotional. My anxiety has been worse than usual. Like I said, I've just been an emotional basket case. You know, my husband said that I've changed, you know, since surgery, which was to be expected, but he didn't expect all this. And I'm just like, I like, I feel like I'm not that bad, but I don't know. So this, I'll just have to save this for like an update video, but it's crazy because so I got on my scale and then I got on my scale yesterday and it said 283, 285 this morning, which is Thursday mornings are the days that I did weigh myself um, every morning before work um, or every Thursday, every Thursday morning, as soon as I got out of the shower, I weighed myself. And then this morning it said 283. So I'm like, I know weight fluctuates, but that is like big jumps. You know what I'm saying? So my girlfriend, cause I texted her and I was like, I am a hot mess express right now. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to feel, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, you need to come to my house and use my scale. She's like, it sounds like your scale's messed up. Um, my roommate said she got on it, but she said she thinks hers was fine. So I'm just like, Ugh, I don't know. We'll see what the doctor says Monday. And then I'll have to do a follow-up video and see what, like I said, see what her scale says. But like I said, like I posted a picture. I don't remember if I posted it or I think I posted it on my Instagram. Um, I got my school pictures back that was taken at the beginning of October. And then I took a picture side by side photo of my face and it was like a dramatic difference. And I'm just like, and my clothes are getting smaller. So how am I not losing weight? I don't know. It's just been an emotional roller coaster. I've been, like I said, an emotional roller coaster. So that's where I've been. And then I was stressing because we had so much stuff to do this week and we had family time. My roommate had her friend over. So we had like all this extra stuff. And then I have to get the signs ready for the holiday bazaar this, um, for November. And then, so I have like six signs to make. I have one done. I have one outlined ready to paint. I still have four more to do. And then I have the cake to do. Well, she was emailing or text messaging me. And then I'm like, okay, well, what day do you want to get the cake? I need to figure all my times out. I was stressing. Do you understand stressing? And she's like, right, you know, the party's not till next week, right? And I'm like, what? Ugh. I was like, girl, and it even works out even better because this coming, not tomorrow, but the following Friday is a half day of school. So I can finish the cake. I can work on the pieces during the week. And then my friend's daughter's birthday, I wanted to make her some kind of galaxy, really cool, like cupcakes for her birthday. And, um which I still might do, but I'm only gonna just do a couple of them, like do six of them and make her like these really cute cupcakes for her birthday. So yeah, and I'll be good to go. Cause like I can do that anytime. So whew, whew, time to de-stress. Let's turn into this box because this is why, why we are here. I don't want to show any addresses. Um. So yeah, I'm really excited, Miss Jessica. I need to hit the lottery because I need to take care of her. <laughs> she always sends me the best goodies and I'm so super psyched to see what's in this box. Oh, look at the, and it's perfect that it came on Halloween, you guys. Look at, look at this. Look at, th this is so cool. All the little, let me say, I should put it on my hair somehow. As Graveyard Girl would say, worms, worms. If you guys don't know Graveyard Girl. Okay, let me take this off because this is hot for real. Like, I'm seriously hot. Like, oh. and then bam, <gasps> look at my makeup. I did my makeup this morning. I was trying to hurry and it, I think it turned out okay. Like, I don't know how bad or how cracked it is. But there's my makeup. I used the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. And um, so that's the color on my lids. And then I just took, I actually have what makes these stars is I got it in my Ipsy bag. It's like a little uh, liquid eyeliner stamp. So that's what I used and rocked it. Everybody loved it. Then I have my Jeffree Star lipstick Mwah! on that's actually stayed all day 
it has like this gold glitter in it and I need to put this on my head yes darling yes um and it lasts all day and even though it's got glitter and stuff in it it's not like gritty you know what I mean it's like it feels really good okay so I have all the worms on my head so first thing on the top Miss Jessica look at this Ooh, these mermaid tail um, little mold. This would be so cute on top of a cake or, or a cupcake. Um, or, oh, you know, there was this uh, mermaid cake I saw online. Now, first of all, let me tell you guys something. I'm going to pump Miss Jessica up because um, if Miss Jessica wants to give out her Instagram, because I know she has her family and stuff on it, let me tell you, Jessica is the is a cupcake slayer. Okay, she's a she makes the best cupcake toppers. I'm like, girl, you need a YouTube channel, and I need to follow you, and I need to see. Now she's told me some of her little secrets. I won't tell, but I'm telling you, Jessica, if you want people, to, I swear you should have people look at your cupcakes, especially like I mean, they are truly phenomenal or just make like just like Jessica's cupcakes or something. I will subscribe to it. I will share the heck out of your Instagram page. She is so talented and I'm just not saying that for real you guys. She makes the best cupcake toppers that I have ever seen. Like they are just so good like top-notch bakery quality. Like I'm not even just saying that. Like I swear I'm not. Jessica is the bomb. So here is the mold so you can see. But there was this one cake I saw. It was like a real tall cake. And then you know how like when you make, you tear the fondant or you just do like that and you make like the waves and like the pe the pieces stick out and they do it like from a white to a light blue to a dark blue to make it look like waves and stuff. Like having a little mermaid tails like coming out or like going through the waves that wind is whipping you know our pool cover blew off did I tell you guys that I'm just having to look out because the pool cover blew off we thought somebody took it or we could, we were looking all around for it it blew in the pool so now the whole pool is covered in leaves I'm just like what the heck all right so let me start yakking oh dear I can't show this so <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. So this is of, um, there's actually two molds here, which is freaking hilarious, of a man's, um, that's a nice way to say this, um, of a man's tool, a man's, not like a hammer, well, they call it getting hammered, no, they call it getting, um, I don't know, banging, so maybe, um, but yes, this is a man's natural utensil that is attached to him. I don't want to get demonetized. I don't want to show it, but I really, really, really want to show it. Um, it's so cute. They're so funny, um, but I don't want to get demonetized. But thank you. This is freaking hilarious. I might, I'll post a picture of it on my Ray's Naughty Nibbles page. So that way, if you want to see what it is, I do have, so there's two raised cakes pages if you ever notice so I love making adult cakes but I only make them like when somebody really wants them and that's when I want like what I want to put on my patreon account is like my adult theme naughty like booby cakes men genitalia cakes stuff like that um I'm losing my okay so um that's what I really want on my Patreon account is like adult, you know, naughty cakes and stuff. So I do have, if you ever look at my description box, you'll see Raised Cakes and then you'll see Raised Cakes 2. Well, Raised Cakes 2 is actually Raised Naughty Nibbles, which is my like nibble, you know, you know what I mean? It's just naughty themed desserts, which oh, my worms are falling. Oh, my glorious worms. Okay. What is that? Is that Callie up in the box? Yes, this is like her spot. Do you see her up there? Crazy cat. Okay, so here is the next one. I gotta double check them now. Oh, the little piggies. So here are little piggies. This is so cute. My friend, um, I don't wanna say her name, but she is obsessed with pigs and I made her a piggy, a pagan piggy cake cause she is actually, well, she practices the Druid faith. But I made her a piggy, um, a piggy cake. It had like a little pig pen around it with a triquetta. 
I think I say that right, on the top. And I put her pagan name on it. So yeah, this is so cute. They're so adorable. I could actually use these, Jessica, and I could put X's on the eyes and make my own Shane Dawson themed cupcakes. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's what I'm gonna do. What do we got? Okay, so let's see what else we got here. What is, oh, look at, you guys, look at the little itty bitty whisk. Oh, and it's got a heart. Can you see the heart in the middle? That's so cute. Oh, I don't want nobody to use this. This is mine. Nobody's touching this, nobody. I'm putting it in my cake corner so nobody can use it. What is this? This is, oh, they're little penguins. These are adorable. Uh, everybody, my roommate is obsessed with penguins. So these will definitely be cute for um, Christmas and like just winter time. So they're like super cute. Let's say, what is this? Oh, these are, cla oh my gosh, this is so funny because I had these on my wish list. I suck at making clouds and I wanted these little cloud cutters. So these are really cute because what I was thinking about doing with them was if I need a cake with clouds, like to do a rainbow or something, I was gonna cut these out in white fondant and then make the bowl like balls and put them on like where the ridges are and then put a piece of fondant over it. So thank you, Miss Jessica. Do you know my wish list? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I had this in there too for Fortnite. There, it's just like a little handheld gun mold, but I did have this on my wish list for like my son's like Nerf darts and stuff like that, or for Fortnite. So that's super cool. And then this looks like, oh, this is like one of them seashells. That's really neat. It's like one of those big, like those pointy seashells. I don't have one of those. Like I have a shell mold um smaller than this this is like a nice good size but this is like the ones that's got like the um point the sticky uppy things on it i like different molds for like um there's a oh there's a starfish i like different shapes like for mold um you know for uh what you call oh is this another this looks like another um oh, don't know how well you guys can see. Looks like another shell mold. Or is this, it kind of looks like a hat though. I don't know if it's a hat. Oh, I could use it as a hat. Is, it, is this a hat, Jessica? I might have to email you and be like, uh, girlfriend. <laughs> it, but you know what, it does, it looks like a hat and then I could just put a ball of fondant on the top. So, let's see what else we have in here. This is, what is this? This isn't naughty or anything. I am not sure what this mold is. Oh, it's flowers. I see it's like roses. Okay, so this is like, a, um, I guess if you pour chocolate in it or something, it would firm up like a, um, like a roll of uh, roses or something. That's really pretty. I'm pretty sure that's roses because I'm like looking at the inside and I'm like, yeah, that looks like a rose. That looks like a rose. They look like flowers. That's pretty cool. I, uh, I've always wanted to try one of these, but I've never knew how hard that they would be to get out. You know what I'm saying? So, um, if you've used one of these, Jessica, let me know. Um, I mean... I guess it would just like pop out. I mean, maybe I wouldn't put it all the way. I don't know. I have to play. I have to play with this. Let's see. We have. Oh, it's a little lamb. It's a little lamb plunger. I don't have a lammy. That's good for Easter. What is in my eye? Oh, the worm. The worm is in my eye. Okay, hold on. Flip it. Flip it over. I gotta have it on because I like it. And then we have, uh, oh, we have two. Oh no, it's one. Oh no, it's two. We have two ginger, these are neat. Oh, it's like a whole bunch of like little <gasps> Wow, this is so cool. So these are little gingerbread. So 
I guess this is like the top. And then, so the, here's your gingerbread cutter or your little people cutter. And then, so here's one of the imprints you can do. And then on the back, <clears throat> excuse me, it has another little imprint on it. So there's that one. And then there's this one. This looks like just a little like cute dress. I guess you can make like little people and stuff. Those are so cute. I like this one. This one I think is a ballerina, like with the little tiara. And then that's neat. I've never seen. And they all like this whole set like fits together. This is really, see, and then you just put it in there and I guess you would like cut it out and like just push it in. Or no, wait a minute. I lied. Hold on. It probably goes in here. Maybe. Or because there's like another piece here. So maybe it goes in here and then you would stamp it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. All my worms just fell all over the place. So these are neat. I like these. I've never seen anything like this before. Hang on. I have a little minute. Okay. I'm back. All right. I'm not gonna put the worms back on because it's hot. So, <laughs> all right, let's see what, I oh, here's another set. Oh, pumpkins. Oh, <sighs> These are so neat. Okay, so here's another set. These are so cool. So here's another set. Here's your pumpkin cutter. And then there's this face on one side that you can imprint. And then there's the other side. These are like so neat. Like I could like stamp it in the fondant or something or put it like on, if I did it on black fondant, and then I don't know. I would. I'm gonna have to play with these because I like these. Um, so there's this face, and then there's that silly face. I might have to make another video today. Oh, I like this face. That's like a classic kind of jack o' lantern. And this one's like, oh, you scared me. Oh my gosh, these are so cool, Jessica. I don't know where you found these, but these are like really, really neat. And I like because they all just fit. Like they just fit and then just put them away. That's so cool, like for real. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. What is this? Oh, it's a baby mold. I've always wanted one of these. Um, I've had a couple baby showers and there's actually um, another teacher that's pregnant at my school. So I know we're gonna definitely have a baby shower for her because she's pretty awesome. So I will probably most likely use this and um, it's just a sleeping baby and then you could put like a little blanket and stuff over it. Like I said, I've always wanted one of these. So I'm looking forward to using this. Thank you so much, Jessica. You'll probably hear me say thank you. Oh, is this another one? Oh, is this another? Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, yeah, so this looks like, this definitely looks like another sleeping baby. I'm pretty sure. And I think this is too, yeah, you can't really tell, but it's definitely another baby. So that's super cute. That's really, really cute. I'm gonna have to play with these and see how they come out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, cause I've been wanting like little baby molds because sometimes people are like, yeah, you know, I'm having a baby, blah, blah, blah. I want like little, you know, um, cakes with the babies and I'm like oh I don't have that mold well thanks to Jessica I do now this is intriguing to me what is this oh it's a bunny it's a big bunny plunger oh I love that I have now I have the lamb oh oh wait a minute does this no that doesn't pop out does it does this go with this Jessica because I feel like these two look like they will go together I feel like just saying I think I think I'm using my noodle. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, what is this? You're probably gonna hear me say all oh, all the time. What does this say? Oh, graduate. Oh, they're little graduate and diplomas. So here's like, these are great for cupcakes, little um, diploma hats. You can do them in your school colors and the diplomas. Awesome. I actually, I had ordered this mold 
a long time ago for um my roommate's cake I wanted to do um like scissors cutting the hair but then when I got this I'm like that wouldn't have cut nothing <laughs> So that's when I did the brush because I had ordered that and then it actually just came in the mail. It's like been two months and I totally forgot about it. Um, what is this? Um, <laughs> Jessica, what is this? It looks like a little girl or something. Like a little, is this like another baby, like a christening? I'm trying to make out. Sometimes it's hard to make out what the mold is. It looks like, because I see the face, but the flowing, I see the sh shoes or the feet. I'm not a thousand percent sure what this is, to be honest. Like, that looks, there's definitely, looks like hands. So, oh, oh, it's a queen. Oh, wait a minute, it's a princess. It's got to be a princess, because I'm just noticing, if you look up top, there's a crown. I guess she could be a queen, too. I guess. A queen or a queen or... What does she knock down? A queen or a princess. One or the other. That's really neat. She packed so much stuff in this box. Like, let me tell you. What's in here? This is Disney, an ice cube tray girl. We don't use ice cube trays. We use them for fondant. So we have Stitch. And we have, like, the little, um, I call them, like, the SpongeBob flowers. But they're, like, the Honolulu flowers. So there is Stitch. So super cute, Jessica. My goodness gracious. You really got some stuff in here, girl. All right, what is this? Another beach. Oh, these are cute. They got little faces on it. There's a seahorse, a, a starfish, or two starfish and a seahorse with cute little happy faces on them. We have more seashells. Oh, the little seahorses. I need to do an ocean themed cake because I am prepared for anybody who needs one. There's a big, um, not, is it a conch, conch shell? Are these like conch shells, I guess? Conch, conch shells, Con yeah, it's the shell. Um, or is this the conch shell? But there's another shell. <laughs> I can't, is it, I wish I knew the different names of shells, but I don't. So, um, what else is in here? Let me pull a couple things out. And we got some cookie cutters. Oh, this is like a really pretty flower. Oh, it's a um orchid. I believe this is an orchid. I'm pretty sure this is an orchid. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I'm pretty sure that's an orchid. And then this is gorgeous for spring with the little birds. Oh my goodness. I love the flowers and the birdies, but I could probably use the birds too for like a winter, like if I did them in red. It really wouldn't look like a cardinal though, would it? No. I think, what do they look like? Little finches, I guess? Blue jay? No, not blue jays. But I could still do birds. I mean, birds are still out in the winter time. Trust me, we feed them. Oh, I, girl, I needed this mold. I needed another like decent rose mold with all different sizes of roses because I've been using this a lot lately if you guys haven't noticed um I love roses and I love using them and this looks like super detailed like all the um different sizes are really really detailed and then here's another little shell mold with the um these are like the long spirally ones or are these a unicorn horn Cause I can see, I think it's a shell, but I think it looks more like a unicorn horn. I would, that's what I would use this for. I would use this as a unicorn horn and not a seashell. I think it is supposed to be a unicorn horn. So let's see what do we have here. Oh, it's a big baby. It's a big baby mold. Look how big, the, I like this one. This one's good for a cake topper. It is so detailed. I don't know how well you guys can like see in there. Look at the ear. And then the, the hands, and then you guys can't see this way. Can you guys see like the face, the details? This is like the, the little one right here. 
this is the little one like this is like cupcake size that's cake size because i would put this like on a little blanket um maybe put like i would, might not even put a diaper on it but you could put like a little hat on it or something it's so cute oh my gosh jessica i'm gonna kick your butt girl thank you so much oh another rose mold oh these look like they're more like big look at these look how deep this mold is this is like a really deep 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 mold look at that these are like really really detailed there's like a glare on it i apologize look how deep they are like that's really detailed that is so detailed that is insane i love them. oh there's more than one in here hold on i just noticed that hold on is it really is it just oh no no it's one mold right i was gonna say wait a minute it can't be two molds see i thought it was two molds see how it's like it's got like a a stair look on the side oh shoot um let me just show you guys why i thought it was two see it looks like it's two I was like, oh, it's two. No, no, it's just one. <laughs> That's really neat though. I like that. We're getting to the nitty gritty to the end. Let me put this back in here though. I like this one. And it, look how tiny. Look at the little teeniest, tiniest one. That is so cool. Okay. Um, there's another, ouch. Oh, there's another, um, cloud cookie cutter this one's a metal one there's another what is this one this is um oh it oh is it a unit oh it's a mermaid i believe this is a mermaid it's because i just because i see the mermaid pattern but i'm trying to figure it out so this is the inside, but if you look right here, you can see the scales. Can you see the scales on the tail? And then I'm guessing like this is hair and stuff. This must be like a mermaid. See, I feel like I would pour chocolate in this. I feel like oh, it's really getting nasty out. Our power was blinking at the school. The kids were like getting pumped. I'm like, please just wait till we get home. Um, so it's definitely some sort of mermaid. Um, I think maybe it's like a mermaid with its back. Cause I don't see a face. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it definitely is uh, some sort of mermaid. That looks amazing. Here's a couple left. Oh my goodness. I want these are oh my goodness. I can't show them. Oh, there's another um cloud cutter. So there's two different cloud cutters. Oh, the Christmas trees. And that is the end of the box. So I got three things here. Um so there is a Christmas tree cutter set. So there's all different shapes or all different sizes of Christmas trees, which will come in handy for Christmas. So that is good looking on that. I am excited for those because then I could do like, a, see, I have ideas, but it's just ex executing the ideas. What is this? This is, um, I don't. So yeah, I'm actually really kind of confused. Um, Jessica, what is this? I don't know what this is. I want to say, all right, so everybody put their guesses. I don't know because Jessica will message me. Oh, wait a minute. Sometimes you just got to look at it. Are they birds? Because now that I look at it like this, this kind of looks like a branch with a bird sitting on it. Is that what that is? I'm not 100% sure. That's kind of what it looks like though. Is it like, um, oh yeah, wait a minute, because I think that one's a, a toucan. Are they both toucans? Because look, I figured, wait a minute, I got it upside down. 
So like there's the toucan, there's its feet, and then there's its beak and stuff. So I think these are two birds. I'm not sure. Um, the one definitely looks like a toucan. But um, these are absolutely hilarious. These are actually, I believe, the banner on my Ray's Naughty Nibbles um, YouTube channel or mm, Facebook page. Um, they're cookie cutters. I'm not going to hold the paper up. But, which way, ooh, which way does this one go? So I'm just going to briefly hold up the cookie cutter. If you guys can make out what that is. These are, I love these. Because I've been wanting these. These, I've actually uh, had these on my, on Etsy. They actually have the 3D ones with like the imprint stuff on it. They have similar ones. Like this is um, dog dog style um missionary or i think i showed that one and then this is the one with on top but backwards and then missionary so hilarious i love it so much oh i just almost showed the whole bag but yeah it's so funny so yeah they're gonna be fun to play with so thank you, Jessica. You got so much stuff in that little itty bitty box. That's hilarious. Um, thank you so much for making my day. I really, like I said, after this rough emotional week, I really needed the laughs. And um, I'm just really grateful that you sent me all this. And I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, you didn't have to, but I'm glad you did. And I'm so, so grateful and thank you. I'm thankful for all my viewers. Um, I have such great viewers and, um, like I said, gifts aren't necessary. Packages, fan mail is not necessary. Um, but if, like I said, if anybody ever wants to just send me some, well, even if it's just a letter, just send me a letter. Like Anita, she sends me cards. I get cards. Um, you know, so like if you just want to write me a little note and you don't want to email me or you don't want to mess, like just send me a message or whatever, which you can, I, I get a lot of emails, believe it or not. And I don't talk about them because some people like open up and tell me personal things. So I'm not going to blab their business all out on the internet, but, um, but yeah, so like people do message me and email me. So I'm just like, I keep it under wraps. I do mention it, but I don't say who or what. And so please don't feel like you need, you should stop because I love getting them. So I appreciate that. And um, I love my emails. I love my messages on Instagram and Facebook. And um, so yeah, if you ever just want to talk, talk to me, reach out to me if I'm busy then I'll just, I, I mean, I always try to respond back as soon as I can. So yeah. All right, Jessica, thank you so much for sending me all my goodies. I love them so, so, so much. Thank you so much. And thank you guys so much for watching my video. It's pretty long. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I didn't expect all this stuff in the, in the box, in one little teeny tiny box. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry, I've been like a wreck lately, but it, you know, I guess stuff happens. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I have I hope everybody has a very safe and happy Halloween. Um, yeah, I'm going to go relax and probably take my makeup off maybe. Um, I may play with something. So I don't know because fondant makes me happy. I know some people like to play in makeup, which I do like to play in makeup. But um, I'd rather sit back here and play in fondant than do anything else. So... All right, guys, I love you. Everyone have a good day. And remember to please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. And I will see y'all soon. Bye, guys. Happy Halloween.